Hi everyone, this is Darko from HadaTelevisia.com. In this video I will show you my recommended settings after doing complete ISF calibration on Samsung's HU8500. I'll start off by opening menu in which you will see that I selected picture mode movie. Backlight was left at value 16. You can of course adjust it depending on your viewing environment. Contrast 95, didn't touch that. Brightness was increased by 1 in order to achieve proper black level. Sharpness, this is also a setting uh, that you can play with, just like with backlight. Um, I decided to leave it at 25 because most of the time I watched Full HD content and I wanted TV to utilize its sharpness algorithms to increase uh, details and you know make picture more detailed color was left at 50 also tint and in pictures mode picture size it's important to select screen fit in order to achieve one one pixel mapping going down to Advanced settings, where of course dynamic contrast is turned off, black tone off, color space I decided to leave it auto, it was precise enough, color gamut was just right, so I decided not to touch it. White balance, in this year's model it's separated in 2 point and 10 point under one menu, for 2 point you see the following values. And for 10 points, we played with, as you can see, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, didn't touch that, 60 also, 70 didn't touch, 80 also, no change, 90 plus 7 red, blue minus 3 and 100. Okay, going back to Gamma, I decided to put it... Of course, measurement uh, sh measurements show that Gamma should go to minus 1 in order to achieve flat 2.2 Gamma characteristic. Motion lightning is not available in this menu. Color Tone Warm 2, Digital Clean View and MPEG Noise Reduction are off, you can of course turn them on, especially Digital Clean View, with, which really will make picture less grainy and with less noise, which is important if you have some old recordings from VHS or some other analog source. Coming to Motion Plus, I decided to go with custom and blur reduction to maximum and judder reduction at zero because I don't like soap opera when watching movies. LED clear motion will also give you great motion resolution but it will dim uh, the screen's light output and it will also introduce flicker which I'm sure it's not visible on the camera but trust me it really brings uh, brings flickering and it's not very pleasant. Smart LED, this is local dimming. Uh, I decided to go with standard because it showed the best contrast with NC measurement over 20,000. Cinema Black, I recommend turning this on, especially for CinemaScope movies, because it will really make black bars above and below the screen much, much closer to pure black. Overall that's it, thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more news, reviews and videos like this about new modern TVs. Thank you.